The motion on the need to halt the increase in tariff of DSTV, multi-choice satellite television service providers, especially during the coronavirus pandemic, was moved by Representative Chine Ruaga from Ebonyi State and seconded by Representative Aisha Doku from Gombe State. Representative Ruaga said it is sad that despite the fact that there is a committee already set up by the House to investigate the non-implementation of the pay-as-you-go tariff plan by DSTV and other satellite service providers, DSTV still went high to increase their tariff by a huge percentage. The concern that since the beginning of this pandemic till this moment, multi-choice have never rendered any form of material assistance to this country. Resolved that the House Committee on Communication Reverse on the sudden increment of the subscription, knowing the challenges of this country and the world at large facing right now as a result of this pandemic. Meanwhile, they had a committee to investigate the non implementation of the pay as you go plan by broadcast service providers, has been inaugurated by the speaker Femi Bajabiamila. The speaker was represented by the speaker was represented who was represented by Deputy Leader Peter Patterson, said the exploitation of relationship between the Nigerian people and the broadcast satellite service providers on the non-implementation of the PRC tariff plan must stop. We have an object obligation to protect our citizens from being disadvantaged by unfair trade practices. It is not our intention to act against the interests of businesses, or to impose regulations that <coughs> restrict the necessary and profitable operation of private enterprises. Earlier, the chairman of the Haddock Committee, Representative Unyeme Udem from Akwa Urban State, said other service providers like mobile networks and electricity distribution companies have implemented the pay as you go target. Broadcast satellite providers, therefore, have no reason not to do the same. We cannot afford to connive with fosters and economic saboteurs who softly defraud the country and the citizens by their way of billing. We are not unmindful of uh, booby traps, discouragement and allegations this investigative assignment may generate, but be assured that we are going to be above board. Udem said the investigation is a legislative intervention on the war against institutional corruption and exploitation of Nigerians from the National Assembly, Abdul Yusuf, Liberty News.